Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you would never ask. It's Friday, the 17th day of March. Everybody's a little Irish today because it's St. Patrick's Day. I love St. Patrick's Day. Heidi's family really does have quite a bit of Irish. Tons. Uh, her mother's maiden name is Mick Gowan. Yeah. And then uh, what, and Mernon, Mernon. So both both uh, both of her parents were yeah. uh, direct Irish. And then on her other side of her family, she's uh, very very German. German. That's the Heidi part. Yeah. But uh, no, we've got uh, also national. It's a cor- great combination. It really is. <laughs> Heidi's excited for days like today. Let me say that <laughs> National Corn Beef and Cabbage Day today as well. Are you a fan? No, I am not actually. Oh well, you just lost any points you earned a moment ago. You lost them all. <laughs> I I'll, can't I'll eat it. your corned beef and cabbage today too. It's it's good stuff. Um, I've got a guest, actually not one but two guests today, and uh, I'm excited to chat with them from the Women of Wrestling W O W, Foxy Fierce and Candy Crush will be on the program today. And they've got a lot of fun stuff they're working on. We'll chat with them all about it coming up. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If current trends continue, half the world's population will be overweight or obese by 2035. Hey, I am an early adopter on this. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure we're already there. I already beat you all to it. According to a new report by World Obesity Federation, that's a thing. The findings published in the World Obesity Atlas of 2023. I should be on the mailing list for this. They suggest the global obesity epidemic will continue to snowball if prevention and treatment measures do not improve. The report projects that 51% of the world's population, over 4 billion people, will be considered overweight or obese in 12 years. Additionally, one in four people are predicted to be obese, a staggering jump in the one in seven living with obesity now. People with a body mass index of more than 25 are considered overweight, while obesity is defined as a BMI of over 30. So I think I have the high score right now. Uh, I definitely have high score. No, I don't know what I don't know what my BMI is, but it's too much. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than fifteen bucks, it's time for a mint intervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers. From Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know? Academy Award winner Sandra Bullock tops the list of actors in Oscar-worthy movies in terms of her worth per second. How much do you suppose she is worth per second? Oh my gosh, way more than me. $95,000 for every second she's on screen. In Oscar-nominated films, Sir Ian McClellan came in second, followed in order by Kate Winslet, Whoopi Goldberg, and Dustin Hoffman. So that kind of surprises me on some of those. Uh, at the opposite end of the scale, by the way, Robert De Niro and Tom Cruise rank 48th and 49th with just over $26,000 of box office worthiness per second. So that surprises me, too. They're probably just not true. Cho- you know, it, because when they say these roles were... Yeah. Oscar worthy. You know what I mean? I suppose. There's probably a it, lot. It depends on the types of roles you're doing because comedies typically do yeah. not win Oscars. Well, but Whoopi Goldberg was on the list of the best and Robert De Niro and Tom Cruise were on the list of the not so best. So I don't but know. But Whoopi has been in a lot of very serious films. She was okay. in The Color Purple. She right. was in, no, uh, you, you know, so when you do those kinds of roles See, and you're I nominated. Of that. Yeah. All right. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Jenny Ortega is living the dream with the title of Netflix smash hit Wednesday. So she's Wednesday. Yeah, and, that's uh, been she has getting done. huge, huge praise. Yeah, she's done very, very well for herself. Um, and she almost didn't do the show. Really? Tim Burton had to, like, convince her to do it. So, And she says that he is, quote, such a legend. 
So CBS is set to air primetime special titled A Salute to NCIS Los Angeles immediately after the two-part conclusion of the long-running crime show. May 21st is when that's all coming to an end. And Millie Bobby Brown is ready to leave Hawkins in the rearview mirror. The 19-year-old said she's going to be happy and she's very ready to say goodbye to Stranger Things, which, by the way, has made her career. She's done very, very well. And she also realizes that. But it's it came out in 2016, and she's been there for a long time. She's like, I'm kind of ready for some new stuff. She's got uh, Damsel and The Electric State, two new films coming out. Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. A study claims you waste $75 in gas every year just by messing up and going the wrong way. I don't know if I do that. Because if I, I just find a new way to get there, that that's now it's on the way. But people missing a turn or, a turn or you know, missing I, an exit. Yeah. $75 a year in gas, apparently. Well, and you get so distracted with yeah. so many things oh. anymore. Oh, yeah. And the question, what are sports? If that's the question posed to contestants on Jeopardy, apparently it's not going to be a very good one. On the game show, it says last Thursday. I believe this was two weeks ago, though. The young trivia whizzes bombed every single clue in the sports category. <laughs> Every one of them. I don't now, think that's surprising but here's to the thing. anybody. I don't know if I get any of these, right? So let's no, ask Heidi. I know. Chunker, gag, bit, mallet, a lot of money. Two of the contestants offered up uh, horse racing, a third. The answer, by the way, was polo. A uh, third didn't even try. $800 clue. Penalty killing plus minus the five hole. The I biscuit. I have no idea what we're no, talking the about. The answer was hockey. $600 clue. Eight count. Accidental butt. Cut man. Uh... Nobody had an answer. The answer was boxing. $400 clue. clue. <laughs> Best ball, casual water, closed-faced, and the absolute worst, shank. That uh, would be golf. That is correct. Heidi got one right. That was the $400 clue, and Heidi, uh, now I owe you 400 bucks apparently. And uh, the $200 clue, inherit runners, appeal play, pick off. Pick off. Is that football? Nobody knew the answer. The answer was baseball. Oh. I've got a link, by the way, if you want to see them bomb big time. <laughs> Here's the thing. I wouldn't have done any better. Me either, but those clues there's, are weird. There's a lot of people who are sports fans that are like, you don't know these things? I don't know these things. But I don't know any of these But even the way things. it was worded, that's yeah, weird. I don't know. It's just the way they do it. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mint intervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show this Friday. We've got from Women of Wrestling, wow, we have Candy Crush and Foxy Fierce. Let's start with Foxy. What was it that first got you interested in being a wrestler, and how long have you been doing this? I watched wrestling growing up. Uh, you know, I have an older brother, um, and, you know, he was into wrestling, and he did combat sports when he was younger, and my dad did combat sports as well. So it was something that I was always kind of interested in, but... Uh, as I got older, I kind of let it fall to the wayside. Uh, but when I saw information about WOW and that they were having tryouts looking for athletic women, you know, I have a background in uh, pro and commercial roller skating as well as yoga and acro yoga. So I kind of thought to myself, why not? Let me just try this out. The sky's the limit. Um, and so here I am. And now I've been doing this uh, for about a year now. Yeah. Or, yeah, it's been a full year. Yep. That's awesome. And Candy Crush, welcome to the program. How long have you been a wrestler and what got you interested in this? Uh, so I was actually birthed into wrestling at the same time as Foxy. I came up a different way, though. Uh, I started as a synchronized swimmer and had Olympic dreams there. And unfortunately, uh, 
because of many reasons, couldn't fulfill those dreams. So I started seeking another challenge and uh, found myself in boxing and, you know, pursued that for a while, became pro in the boxing arena. And then uh, when COVID hit, I was searching for something else. You know, my boxing gym closed down and I started watching wrestling a little bit then. Um, you know, I was too busy with my head under the water when I was younger to watch wrestling or really any TV. But uh, I started getting much more interested in it and had this kind of pipe dream that maybe I could do that. And I've always had a strong belief that if I work hard enough, I can do anything. So same thing as Foxy, I saw the tryout for, wow, and I already had a friend that was doing it as well, Tita Rush, uh, who's in the show currently too. And uh, so I went for it, and now here we are. It's actually over a year later. Uh, we already celebrated our one-year anniversary, and we're just kicking butt in the ring day after day. I love that. Again, our guests today, both members of WOW, Women of Wrestling, and Foxy Fierce. Now, when you were a kid, did you think you were going to be a wrestler? Is this something you thought you wanted to do? It was something that just kind of came up, you know, if I'm being honest. When I was a kid watching it, you just didn't see women showcase that frequently. Like, women were starting to be shown, and of course, you know, there was glow back in the day, but for my generation, at least, um, I'm in my mid twenties, it wasn't quite to the point that it is now. So I really didn't see it as a viable career option. You know, I thought, Oh, it's cool to watch the guys do that. Of course. Yeah, that looks fun, but not for me being wow and having this opportunity. is just truly amazing because, you know, now that I'm in it, I'm like, wow, this is exactly what I've always wanted to do. Um, so I'm just thankful to have this opportunity and that WOW has created a platform for women to showcase their athleticism. How about you, Crush? If you were talking to a 12-year-old version of you, would, would that 12-year-old be surprised you're a wrestler? Yeah, she'd be shocked. <laughs> My whole life is, you know, it is kind of wild to go from synchronized swimming to boxing to wrestling. What I say is, like, you never know where life is going to take you. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other and doing whatever sets your soul on fire and do it all out. Don't hold back. Just be yourself. So um, that's something I've always believed and I've always lived by, and I think that's how I ended up where I'm at today. Uh, but never in my wildest dreams would I have imagined being a pro wrestler at that time. But like Foxy said, I feel like I'm exactly where I'm meant to be now, and especially being with WOW because I also value family, uh, and WOW is definitely a family. It's a sisterhood, and I never imagined such a positive environment to be able to pursue my athletic dreams. I love that. And there's a new docu-series, uh, My Road to WOW, The Secrets of the Superheroes. And uh, Foxy, will we see you in this docu-series? Yes, you will definitely see me. And I'll be talking about my background, you know, going into my story even further and how I got to where I am. Um, and, you know, that's what fans can look forward to with this documentary. You know, it really is a behind-the-curtain look at everyone on our roster or a large majority of our roster and how we got to the place where we're at. Um, and, you know, I think fans have connected with us because of our backstories and because of the challenges we've had to overcome. So I think it'll be really inspiring for them to get an even deeper look into our background. Well, Foxy Fierce, Candy Crush, thank you so much for taking the time to chat. It's been a lot of fun, ladies. Yeah, thank you for having us. Again, our guests today have been from WOW, Women of Wrestling. They've got all kinds of cool stuff going on. I've got links to all of it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At bettercreditcards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit bettercreditcards.com fun fact for you heidi what's that john roses cut in the afternoon last longer than roses cut in the morning i wonder why i don't know fun fact for you heidi what's that john this chess term checkmate is from the 14th century arabic phrase shasmate meaning the king is helpless ah i might have said all of that wrong fun fact for you heidi what's that john technically speaking brides don't walk down the aisle they walk down the nave yeah okay it's not an aisle. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Soybeans produce more flatulence than any other bean. <laughs> I would not have guessed that. I would have thought chili beans for some reason. 
Fun fact for you, Heidi. Who's that, John? It would take less than six months to get to the moon by car at 60 miles per hour. <laughs> Who's going to do this? We don't need to know this stuff. And our final fun fact for What's you, Heidi. What's that, John? Mickey Mouse dog Pluto was named after the planet, not the other way around. It's not a planet anymore. I know. Well, I'm still going to call it a planet. Go ahead and try to stop me. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. Yay! Yay! It's brought to you by Mintervention.com. Question, Heidi. If you're average, you do this three times a day. What is it? If you're average. No. And no, that's not. <laughs> if it was the answer, would I have even asked you the question? <laughs> no. The answer is tie your shoes. And you need oh, to go I sit in the corner. Way below F. Yeah. Yes, you are. Apparently, you're not in. <laughs> I'm just, Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Found on the road, deactivated. Automaker Ford filed a patent for a device that could lock owners out of their cars if they miss a payment. And this has not been a popular thing on the internet. The patent describes how the uh, internet operates. The network could connect to your car, according to uh, vice potential scenarios. Uh, They could, like a bank, if you owe a bank money, they could use this app to turn off the vehicle, apparently. I don't think anybody is shocked that this technology exists. Yeah, they say it could have... You knew it was all ...features coming. disabled, like you can't use the radio or the GPS until a payment is brought up to date, or they could escalate it and shut down the air conditioning and the automatic oh. locks, or they could make it so the vehicle doesn't operate at all. Mm. So, all right... So what if you need that vehicle to make money to pay the payment? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, they can also make the car make a loud buzz or other noise. It would make it very unpleasant to drive. From there, the car could end up being completely helpless, like nothing, and then it would be uh, repossessed. But they're they're saying that this is just an idea that they're thinking about. They're not necessarily going to do it. We're just throwing it out We just need there. to have a patent just in case. We're so. spitballing. Yeah, weird news. Brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. Time now for the list, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. The headline is Ancient Internet. Reddit was recently talking about only internet veterans remember these things. Like back in the day when you had a computer room. Remember? I remember when I was a kid, we had a place where, but now every room is a computer room. Uh, the Ukachanga dancing baby. Remember that? The little oh, digital yes, dancing. I never thing. understood that. Oh, my gosh. Netscape. If you remember Netscape, apparently you're old like me. Getting booted off the internet when somebody in the other room picked up the phone. <laughs> it's like, I was on the oh, internet. Oh, yeah. Because it used to be on a phone line. Yeah. Um, Ask Jeeves, if you remember that. Yeah, you, you probably. Vaguely. Old yes. like me. Uh, discussion boards for specific topics. So uh, there's some of those that still exist, by the way. And internet that didn't have any advertising. Back in the day, like there weren't ads everywhere. Now it's ads right, everywhere. Now it's on everything. Every if you third remember click. when Amazon only sold books, because back in the beginning, that's all they sold. And then almost every website had a web page counter on the bottom. Remember those? You never see that anymore. <laughs> and then there was a thing called Napster for a while. And then uh, and then the other thing, bong, Oh, the, yeah, the, dial the sound up sounds. when you're dialing in. Yeah, if you know any of these, that means you're old like me. That's from the ancient internet. Today's list. 
If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Heidi, here's your quote today. It comes from Groucho Marx. I always like Groucho. Yeah, fun, me fun too. quotes. If you find it hard to laugh at yourself, I would be happy to do it for you. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah. There. Here's the thing. I laugh at myself all the time. And yesterday I was laughing so high hard at Heidi. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine who had a big radio voice, and while we're talking, he was talking to me. <laughs> I had him on speakerphone. I got a phone, and Heidi's like, "All these other radio people have amazing voices, and we sound like Muppets." <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks for listening to the Muppet Show. Apparently, <laughs> quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of InsuranceChicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com, and what a story here. Here's the headline. 81-year-old stuck in snow survives nearly a week on croissants. Can you even imagine? An 81-year-old man survived on water and croissants for about a week while he was stuck alone in his car in a snowbank. Thing. On a desolate highway in California. Uh, February 24th is when Jerry... Isn't that weird to hear that? A snowstorm yeah. in California. Well, yeah, d- different parts of California yeah. have this. He's in the high mountain area, Big Pine, California, uh, near his home in Nevada. Anyway, he was on a three-hour drive, and he was aware that there was a storm coming, but he didn't realize how bad it was going to get. His SUV got stuck in the snow after he veered onto a smaller road, and then he got stuck. So uh, it says... A light quilt and a hotel bath towel were the only things he had to keep himself warm. Fortunately, he did have some water with him, and he had just purchased some croissants from a local bakery before making the trip. So the water is something that he carries in his vehicle, and they said obviously he could have gotten water from snow as well, but he happened to have the water. But he's lucky he stopped by this bakery that's famous for their croissants, and he bought a box of these croissants before. Right, right before hitting the road. And then, uh, yeah, that saved his bacon big time because he was stuck there for a week. They finally were able to find him in a helicopter, spotted something. Uh, They thought it was a rock at first. Then they realized, oh, that's the roof of the car because they saw this arm waving out of the car. So they were able to get there and get him saved, and everything's good. I've got a link to the story if you'd like and to read it. And on a side note, his credit card was charged thirty nine ninety five by the hotel for stealing that bath towel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's in the story, but it could be. Uh, I remember one time I convinced my wife over here, hey, just in case we ever get stuck or anything, we should get some. And I bought a, a case of trail mix. And I put him in the center console of the vehicle. And the very next stop, Heidi went into the mall for like an hour. She came out and most of the trail mix was gone. <laughs> She's like, I thought that was for an emergency. I said, I had no no idea how long you were going to be in there. So. <laughs> I was barely hanging on to life. <laughs> All right. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show.